Hello everyone. Uh, in my previous video, uh, I showed you how to use a shape hands with a shape tween in Anime CC. So today is going to be a kind of a second version of that um, using the shape hint. Uh, and then this is what we're going to create uh, waves and then uh, the kraken that the sea creature. And let's see, command return. So let me show you what's going to happen. See? So uh, see waves kind of uh, keeps animating, and then this krakens coming in, uh, coming up from the bottom, and then uh, shaking, animating. So let's get started. Okay, so let's create a new document, uh, 640 by 480 pixel, and frame rate 24, and platform type. Uh, this time uh, we're gonna use the Action, Action Script 3.0 platform. Um, maybe uh, next time I'm going to show you uh, uh, in the HTML5 canvas. But on today, Action Script 3.0 created. So, first thing is we're going to create uh, the wave, like I showed you. So, uh, on the very first keyframe, my first layer, uh, let me change my fill color to blue. I'm going to draw just a rectangle like this. So as I showed you from the at the very beginning, uh, we're gonna have uh, several waves, but we're gonna make just one, and we're gonna keep uh, copying and pasting, uh, and then we're gonna make some changes on each one. So first, draw this, and then uh, please use the, your add anchor point tool. Okay, I'm going to add five anchor points, three, four, and five, just like this. Okay. Then, we can use the just the actual, I mean, the, the, uh, the pen tool, or, but um, this is an easier way. Uh, place your mouse cursor on the border, on the top line, and move down like this. So um, since we added the several anchor points, we can just uh, change the shape. So uh, as you can see that when you place your mouse cursor on the border, on the border, you can see the little arc next to um, your mouse cursor. That means you can push or pull like this. So this is what I have now. So I have that kind of basic wave. So let me use that as a kind of basic module. Now, select your wave. Now we're going to convert this as a movie clip symbol. So there are two different ways. You can do that, go to modify menu and convert to symbol. Or in your properties panel, you can click on this. This is a convert to symbol button. So click on it and name will be wave and then um, type will be as a movie clip symbol and say OK. See? So I got this. Now, double click this. Double click on your movie clip symbol. Now you can see that we are in the um, this wave movie clip symbols editing window. We can go back to main scene at any time. So let me double click. So now I'm going to apply the, um, uh, the shape tween with shape hint. So let's see. So let me apply maybe about the two second animation like here. Insert just a keyframe by clicking this. Okay. Now place your mouse cursor somewhere in the middle. Hold down the control key or right click. Then choose create shape twin. So nothing's happening because we changed nothing. On the very first keyframe, place your mouse, uh, I mean your um, playhead on the very first keyframe. Then Command Shift H, or you can go to Modify, Shape, and Add Shape Hints. Shape Hints, so Command Shift H. So I have one A, Shape Hint, Command Shift H, B, goes there. Command Shift H, C, Command Shift H, and D. 
at the end, second keyframe. Place your the each shape hint on the same spot, A, B, C, D. See? Okay, so nothing's happening. Now, move your playhead to the very beginning, first keyframe again, and insert another shape hint, Command Shift H. So we have an E shape hint. Place it on the peak of your wave on the left. Now, at the end, place your E shape hint up there. Now you see what's going to happen. See? So it looks like kind of a waving. Okay. So now I'm ready to uh, use this. So back to main scene. I'm going to have multiple copies. I'm going to have the yeah, six total waves. So um, let me hold down the option, click, and shift. I have uh, one more. So two, three, four, five, and six. So there are six of them. Let me select all of them. See? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now go to Modify menu and Timeline, Distribute to Layers. Okay, see? So I'm going to change some kind of a set the brightness of each wave. So let me choose the first one on the bottom, this one. Okay, and then go to Color Effect, choose the brightness and make it pretty dark like this. Maybe around the, the minus 70 or 71. Now select the second one. Change the brightness, but on this time a little bit brighter than the first one. Now third. Brightness. A little bit brighter. Next one. Brightness. Even a little bit brighter. Okay, I think this one is okay. And let me choose the very last one. And then brightness, brighter, like this. Okay, you can still then rearrange it. Maybe you can move it down a little bit. You can make it closer or a little bit further. It's up to you. But we still have more chances to change it. Okay, so let's take a look how it looks like. Then let's test the movie. Go to mod on the control and test the movie in animate. So it is animating like this. It's kind of too regular. So I just want to make some more changes. So first, uh, the first one is okay. I'm going to leave it. Or just by using this the free transform tool, you can make it a little bit wider. It's up to you. So I'm going to make some changes. So my second one. I'm going to flip it over like this and let me make it a little bit closer and then I move it just like this. My third one, I'm going to make it maybe this time a little bit taller and wider and let me do this. My next one. Flip it over and make it taller and maybe something like this or even wider. Now next one, I'm going to make it just wider and move it down and very, very last one, let me flip it over again. So as you can see, that I'm making some kind of a pattern. So every other uh, wave I'm flipping. Okay. So let's play again. Command and return so I can test the movie. See? If you want to make this animation a little bit slower, what you can do is always 
go to the library since we are using only one source, this wave movie clip symbol. So double click and then, so I'm using that two second duration. So let me place my mouse cursor and on my second keyframe, keep pressing and drag it up to three second mark. Now go back to main scene and test the movie again. It's a little slower. Isn't it cool? Okay, now let me add some more kind of a kind of a background uh, color. So let me add a new layer. So this is a new layer. Move it to the very bottom. I'm gonna rename it as a BG background. Okay, and let me zoom out a little bit. Uh, let me draw no stroke color. Uh, let me choose my field colors for now as a black and white gradient like this and then by using this free transform tool I'm gonna rotate it 90 degree and maybe something like this oops okay but um I would don't want to have this black and white so let me choose my gradient fill open my color palette and then let me change my um, um, this gradient option from white to black from here to white to let me double click maybe I'm purple and I'm gonna have some more white a little more a little more make it a little closer okay so let me test the movie again command return yep so I'm okay with that so now it's time to add my Kraken. So uh, you can download the Kraken images uh, from the link I, uh, I offered on my bottom of my screen. Uh, that is this Kraken, the SVG file, uh, scalable vector graphics. So just drag and drop to your library. Make sure you're choosing the first the radio button import all path into the same layer and the frame okay now I just need to decide where I'm going to have this Kraken so I'm gonna choose maybe on the third uh, layer and let me add new layer and place it see let me rename this layer as Kraken Kraken so it's here now. If you want to change the uh, the location, the position of this, you can change the layer order at any time. See? So I'm gonna have a somewhere in the middle. Okay. So let me test the movie again. So it's not too bad, but um, I want to have some kind of more animation on this Kraken. So, select your Kraken and go to Properties menu, then convert as a Kraken movie clip symbol this time. Now double click. I'm going to just yeah, shake it a little bit. So uh, on frame number 10, let me insert a keyframe and select frame in between somewhere and hold down the control key or right click and choose classic twin. On frame number 20, insert another keyframe, hold down the control, click and classic twin. Let me add one more on frame number 30. Insert the keyframe, control, click and classic twin. So nothing's changing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shake it a little bit on frame number 10, my second keyframe, by using this free transform tool, and let me rotate it a little bit. On frame number 20, opposite direction. So this happens. Okay, let me go back and see what happens. So it looks the same here, but we change the setting, we add some animation on the Kraken movie clip symbol. So command return again to test the movie. 
So this is happening. Okay. If you want to add some more uh, kind of a fun, what I'm going to do is um, on my Kraken here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this creature behind the wave so it, we don't see it. Then on one second mark on Kraken layer, insert a keyframe and hold down the control or right click somewhere in the middle click on it and create classic twin so now we have a departure and the destination don't worry about the uh, the waves for now and then on my second keyframe I'm gonna move this guy up maybe somewhere here so it's gonna be rising but problem is yeah, all of my um, the waves and the, everything's gone. So let's do this. Uh, why don't we do this? Once this Kraken uh, shows up, I want to make him stay and shaking uh, in the four kind of uh, maybe a four or five seconds. So after one second mark, let me insert keyframe on five second mark on all frames all layers so um click on the first keyframe the and uh, the waves uh, first top layers frame on the five second mark hold down the shift key click on the bottom layers and insert the keyframe just like this and see what happens command return shaking it for four seconds okay yeah and then if you want to export this as the mp4 file for your social medias or some other kind of video production first thing is save this file as Kraken yes Kraken and Go to file. Let me export this as a video and media as an MP4 file. Okay, uh, Kraken. Okay, and export. Okay, and let me check my folder. Okay, so I have Kraken.mp4. So it's about the yeah, five second animation. See? Okay, so that's it. So um, this is kind of a second the shape hint uh, tutorial for the the, uh, uh, the shape hint animation. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope uh, this is uh, helpful for your project. So thanks for watching, and see you next time.